Hey guys, Drew with GeoArm here again to talk to you about the M2M MN02-LTE and its wiring and configuration into the DSC Impasa system. Um, it does not matter whether it's the AT&T or Verizon version, by the way, they both wire in the exact same. Uh, we're also going to be showing, uh, for those of you that will be using the R Control app, how to wire it in and get it ready for that uh, interactive uh, side. So first we're going to show you how to do comms. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to lay out everything that uh, we're, we're going to need to get this install done. So you're going to have your M2M communicator here, which don't forget to document the serial number off of that device. You're going to have its antenna, which I've already pre-connected. You just screw it right onto the little coax spot right here. It goes right through. Uh, and um, you're going to see the flathead screwdriver, which is going to be necessary. Um, the 5.6K resistor, which is going to be required for those of you that will be using the R Control app to control this remotely from your smartphone. And also, you'll see the documentation here, which will tell you how to get it wired in. It'll show you all kinds of different things uh, for this device. Also, uh, it'll have the login information, which you're going to need in order to get this uh, R Control logged in and uh, get controlling of your system. Uh, so, what we're going to do first here is we're going to we're going to show wiring for communications only. So we're not going to be worried about the R control spot. Uh, this is just going to be for communications at this moment, and then we'll double back and I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing you'll notice is I've already kind of pre-popped this open because this impasta can kind of be a, a little bit different to open. So you need to just slide a flathead screwdriver underneath these slots here, and then you just pop it towards you, and then the top piece, which is the actual keypad, pops off. So we're going to put that to the side over here. We don't need that. As you can see, I've already done a little bit of pre-wiring here, and I've pre-wired it for communication. So what you're going to see is red is going to aux plus, which is right here, and black is going to aux minus. Now you need to make sure that your system is powered down prior to doing this. As you can see, I've already unplugged the backup battery, and there is no power supply plugged in currently to this. So this is a dead panel. You want to make sure no power is present when you're doing this, just because they're you know, it could uh, cause a short or something like that. It's not going to get you. It's very low voltage, but just make sure you power down first. So we got red and black, red, aux plus, black, aux minus. Then we're going to go green and yellow. Green is going to be going to R, otherwise known as ring. You run that right there. And then yellow is going to be going to T, otherwise known as tip. At that point, if all you're using is communications and you have those connections made and screwed down, Go ahead and put this thing back together. Okay, and for those of you that are going to be wiring this in for R Control Interactive, um, thank you for sticking with me here. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get this done. Uh, that 5.6K resistor that we talked about earlier, you're going to be wiring one end of that resistor into the aux minus portion, which is already going to have that black wire in it. So once you do that, go ahead and get that resistor put in there with the black wire and then get it screwed down. Then as you can see, the other end of the resistor is going to be run into IO1 here. All right, and there's also going to be another wire going into IO1, and there's also going to be a wire going into IO2, which we're about to make the connections for now. So we're going to go IO1 first, which is going to be wired in addition with this resistor. So orange is going to be going to IO1. Then we're going to go ahead and get that screwed down. Okay, now we're going to go white, and white is going to be running to IO2, which is literally right next to it. So you just put white, IO2, and then just go ahead and get it screwed down once you're able to make the connection. Okay, and then screw it down. All right, and then our connections are made. So this thing is now ready for interactive. If you look here, all connections are made, the resistor is in place, everything is screwed down. So just a recap of all the connections that we have made. You're gonna have red to aux plus, black to aux minus, along with one end of the resistor. You're gonna go orange to IO1, along with the other end of the resistor. You're gonna go white to IO2, you're going to go green to R, which is ring, and you're going to go yellow to T, which is tip. Once you've done that, you go ahead and get your panel reassembled. Make sure to take note of your serial number on the M2M device so that we can get this thing activated for you. 
at this point, give us a call and uh, we'll be able to provide that low cost monitoring for you guys. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how to videos and our low cost, no contract alarm monitoring services.